Here is Ronald Vasquez gracing the Empire MMA Octagon for the first time in his career. Decorated amateur with a slew of stoppages, the Colombian-born Vasquez has only taken on the toughest tasks. His pro debut was in Titan FC against Luis Rodriguez, who was 9-2 at the time. A fighter outside the octagon, Vasquez was wrongfully evicted and battled through periods of homelessness with his family before finding sanctuary at his gym. One thing is for sure, El Lobo certainly doesn't plan on being the prey tonight, John. No, not in the least. I mean, listen, he understands he's facing a highly touted opponent, a highly respected opponent. Uh, but listen, he, he believes, hey, I, I, I'm that guy as well. You know what I mean? And I, here's an opportunity to, to play sport and make something we just saw in our co-main event. Rincon come in and make a statement, right, and, and take advantage of the opportunity. And that's exactly what El Lobo is looking to do here as well. El Lobo, of course, translates to the wolf, if you weren't aware. And that's why he's got the wolf on the chest, the wolf on the back. <laughs> I mean, he's he's wolfed up, baby. He's wolfed up. El Lobo up. everywhere. <laughs> You know, we talked in the introduction to the pay-per-view how in his professional career he struggled to find the footing. Uh, but to remind people, in his amateur career, he ended it with five stoppages, four KOs, and one submission. Again, over pretty decent opponents. And like we said, high stakes of the inaugural fly rate throne bring the highest performances out of these athletes. Absolutely. This is... Uh this is a matchup of two highly talented flyweights. I love the flyweight division. We'll see if one of these men can deliver big tonight. There he is, El Lobo and Ronald Vasquez. We take it to the okay. Burger King tail of the tape. Bogota born Juan Carlos Miranda and Medellin's Ronald Vasquez. Miranda, pretty solid record as is Vasquez 2-2. Each guy's 30 years old. All stats, virtually identical. Juan Carlos Miranda. No stranger to the spotlight. Here is one of the most dangerous fighters south of the states. Juan Carlos El Chiqui Miranda, the multifaceted flyweight, grew up playing everything from soccer to baseball to basketball before settling in on mixed martial arts. While the affable demeanor may be deceiving, John, make no mistakes. When Chiqui flips the switch, the last place you want to be is locked in the cage with him. Currently riding a three-fight win streak, all finishes before the third round. This 30-year-old is more confident than ever. He'll exit the cage, the champion, tonight. Yeah, the smile kind of deceives sometimes. He's kind of got a happy-go-lucky personality, but he flips the switch, right? Uh, you know, kind of the, the logo on his shirt there. It's, it turns into kind of a crazed smile, right? And I loved uh, yesterday at ceremony weigh-ins. He showed up in a full suit, you know what I mean? I think you know, that makes a statement, like, hey, this is all business for me. I'm out here to handle my business and to make my way to the next level. Obviously, he sees himself competing at the sport's highest level in the very near future. And an opportunity like this, you know, to make a statement, to claim the Empire MMA flyweight title could be a big step in that direction. A true martial artist, he lives and breathes the tenets of one George St. Pierre and outside of the octagon works as a petroleum engineer job. Got some brains to go along with that, Braun. Funnily enough, his whole family is also engineers. Mom and dad are chemical engineers. Sister is a petroleum engineer as well. Our main event of the evening, the inaugural flyweight title is up for grabs between Juan Carlos Miranda and El Lobo Ronald Vasquez. You can see the demeanor is already different for Juan Carlos. Ronald Vasquez, 57 kilograms de Colombia. There's that belt, high quality leather, straight from Italy. The hides of many cows went into that belt. Three people died making that flyweight belt. Como referee, al señor Tommy Santana. Tommy Santana unsurprisingly secures our main event officiating role. He's got a lot on his hands with these powerful flyweights. Gotta say once again, Connor Burks, these flyweight unders, I can't see this one going the distance, John. I agree. I think we're in for action here from the start. The intensity is palpable. You could cut it with a Colombian butter knife. Title fight. Love it. 
What a way to end the night. It's been a great night of fights from the very start. Let's see if we can put an exclamation point on it here in the main event. Can Ronald Vasquez finally secure himself and solidify his place as a professional mixed martial artist? Can Juan Carlos Miranda bring the belt home? We get going at 125. Oh, Cheeky eats a shot upstairs. El Lopo connects early. Miranda briefly stumbled off balance, John. Yeah, a little bit off balance there. Not a clean knockdown. You see a little smile, but it does show you the kind of power that's coming on for Vasquez. Look at the cage cutting of Vasquez. Oh, Cheeky down. El Lopo hurts him early. Yeah, that left dropped him. That was a clean shot. The first one was a stumble. That was a knockdown. Vasquez displaying that immaculate power early. When we kind of ask who's the hunter and who's the hunted, El Lopo is trying to make that statement clear early in round number one. Yeah, again, a lot of attention around Cheeky coming in here. But right now, Vasquez putting it to him. El Lobo with a dream start here. Working from the clinch, was kind of looking for the takedown briefly. And again, look at the head positioning. Beautiful, just falling around his opponent's chin, looking for the sweep there. Now he's turning it to the single leg. See if he can run the pipe on this. Beautiful by Vasquez. Cheeky maintaining that balance. High dexterity, oh! A Lobo brings Juan Carlos Miranda down to earth. A beautiful, I mean, that's, that's just a show of power, right? I mean, not that the technique wasn't there, but literally just lifted him up and set him down on the ground. Look at this, really isolating the legs as well, trying to deframe the base, but Miranda back to his feet. Nice job there, now he's gonna try to turn in, not allow his pump to get to the back. Oh! Beautiful suplex there to the ground. El Lobo really displaying the grappling early, now trying to maybe get the hooks in, John. Dream start here, continues, wow. big knees to the body. I mean, just a punishing, powerful flyweight. El Lopo starting strong, starting early. Juan Carlos Miranda needs to kick it into another gear. Hook comes in on the left side. Good defense by Miranda, seems like he's reversing the position. Yeah, he's gotta be careful not to leave his arm behind here, but if so, he's gonna turn and get to top position. Potential to set up a triangle choke here. You got the right leg up on the shoulder. So a real key moment here for Miranda. If he can clear that leg, he can finally have an opportunity for some offense. 240 left in round number one. Cheeky avoids the triangle. Yep, does a good job there. Steps over into half. And now he's sitting on top. He's a little past the halfway mark here, and this is the first chance that Miranda's really had to potentially display some offense. Potential to set up an arm triangle here. You see that right arm bit stuck behind. Really well-rounded grapplers on both sides. I mean, it's gonna take either some big mistakes or some serious positional advantages to secure a sub, I would say, on either one. Vasquez flat on his back right now, still holding on that half, Ooh. trying to look at a little elevator sweep here. Got the knee shield in, seeing if he can maybe get a spin or back to his feet. Butterfly guard there briefly. A lot of high-level techniques and exchanges happening here. Juan Carlos Miranda absolutely minding the P's, Q's, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, baby, as we approach 140, left in round number one of this inaugural title fight. And you see Miranda again inching forward, potential to set up an arm triangle here with that right arm trapped behind. Now he's going to see if he can just sneak to the back. Oh, a Lobo. Cage making it tough, but a potential crucifix here. Back wow. to the feet they go, Look wow! A Lobo just steps up. Now he's got to come, the arm is there! Left arm was in trouble there momentarily. El Lobo narrowly avoids defeat. Wow. What a back and forth scrap we've got in our hands, John. Well, we said it was going to be entertaining. It absolutely has been. There you see Miranda working from his back. Crazy smile still in place. <laughs> it's a demonic smile and expression. Leaps wow. up that, the up kick, the capoeira from the bottom. One minute remains in round number one. Juan Carlos Miranda floored earlier in this, but has rallied back. El Lopo putting the pressure on in the final moments of round one. Phenomenal opening round here. Beautiful jab by Miranda. There's a cross oh, to the boat. That's right. Two athletes showing they deserve to be in here. They were the right two to fight for this title. Juan Carlos Miranda, a product of not having many opponents that want to face him in his career. That's why he wasn't as active as he wanted to be. He certainly got a challenge in front of him tonight. Oh! Beautiful combination there. Juan Carlos Miranda might be stunned. El Lopo looking for a stamp on round one. 
15 seconds left. Wow. Beautiful takedown there as well. Cheeky My pops goodness. back to the feet. These flyweights know how to get after it, John. I'm telling you, I love the flyweight division, always have. And what a phenomenal opening round that was for our title fight. Wow. Juan Carlos Miranda really displaying the durability. I mean, kid's got a chin to eat some of those El Lopo hooks. Yeah, took some big shots as we watch a replay of some of the action in there. Big punches. See the left hand there. And these takedowns as well, just muscled into him. Great work on the ground as well, though, of course. He had a great option, options as well. And there, almost made a mistake, almost left the arm behind in that moment. Wish we saw that Capoeira moment in the replay. Beautiful. Hey, the replay, replay guy didn't know what to pull, man. There was so much <laughs> stuff in there to pick from. He was, he was short-circuiting back there, trying to figure out what to pull as a highlight. Talking about offensive improvements ahead of round number two, what does each guy need to do to find the edge, John? I mean, listen, Lobo's doing awfully good on the feet in terms of the power. Um, I think he's, he's, he could really try to you know, kind of have some more of these stand-up exchanges because I really think he does pack more into punches. The takedowns work, but you saw he also found himself in some bad positions there as well. So, you know, if I'm cheeky, I, I maybe try to get this thing to the ground. Lord, we saw him with that shot early on, but he didn't really set it up, and that's why it was unsuccessful. Tommy Santana gets going for round number two. The Wolf El Lobo without a pack tonight, but doesn't need it. So much power from this veteran. Juan Carlos Miranda still trying to find his footing in this title fight. Good yeah, I think kick. if you're Miranda, you know, try to create some kind of non-traditional entries. Just create some scrambles. Ooh. Oh, or land a big right hand like that. That <laughs> might work, too. There you go. You see him oh. come in. But On he, the exits, though, El Lobo is punishing Cheeky. Well, he needs to set up those takedowns. He ducked in there, but he, he did it not behind a punch or behind a kick. I think that's what he needs to do. Oh, good opportunity right here trying to trip. Juan Carlos gets reversed. El Lobo! On the guillotine. Can he get some angle on this? Cheeky fighting the hands. Yep, wisely so. Really just preventing the positional advantageous movement of one El Lobo, four minutes with which to work. Yeah, I don't think Vasquez is going to have this. He's going to try, as you see, he's going to try to switch to the back there. So what he's going to try to do is spin around. But he's got to clear that hand, and that's why you see that left arm coming out to grab the hip and prevent the pass. So Lobo really needs to just make sure he traps that left arm, and as he does so, you'll then see him spin around to the back. The other anecdote of this position is Cheeky's wearing the weight, but big reversal potentially attempt. Nope. Beautiful Vasquez sprawl, denied. man. Phenomenal sprawl there from Vasquez. And now he's finding his way to the back. Cheeky tries to roll out of it. Beautiful little Granby roll. There's some up kicks from Juan Carlos Miranda. Prevented the back take. And, uh, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I think Vasquez is going to have him come back to the feet. Oh! Big head kick for Cheeky. Threw another one over the top. <laughs> One thing's for sure, Juan Carlos Miranda is as fun of, a, fun of a fighter as they come, but hands near the hips, John, not defensively aware. No, 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 no. Showing good head movement, but get the hands up. You're, you're facing a man with power in those punches. El Lobo trying to find that fight ending blow. Good takedown attempt right there from Miranda. Beautiful. Yeah. Second effort got it done. Great defense there early from Vasquez. Second effort got it done. Neck wrapped up here, but going to be really difficult to gain kind of a real squeeze on this with Miranda on the opposite side. Midway to round number two, 240 remaining Miranda. Advantageous position. This title fight is brought to you by Burger King and broadcasted by MixedMartialArts.com, the underground. Yeah, Vasquez let that go. He knew he had control of the head, but didn't really have a squeeze on it, so why burn out your arms? But that did allow Miranda to settle into top position working from his opponent's guard, posturing up there, steps over on the right side, but it immediately re-guarded by Vasquez. Low blow, El Lobo, really closed guard, just holding on to Miranda here. El Lobo would be a pretty good, <laughs> that'd be a pretty good nickname as well. Like, just say know. El Lobo five times fast, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can do it. I'm coming to hit you with the El Lobo when you come <laughs> out here tonight, so guard your cup. <laughs> Miranda right now working from the top, but not really able to do much with it. Somewhat of a stalemate. Miranda wants to advance the position. What has he got to do, John? Well, right now he's got to address his guard. I mean, you saw he stepped over uh, immediately, but the, the regard of Vasquez was immediate. So you can see he's really comfortable with that. So, you know, head is against the fence. That makes it a little bit more difficult for Vasquez to operate and to have his full range of motion to him. But right now, 
cheeky. He's not really doing anything to, to move past the guard. It's just kind of comfortable settling here. Definitely winning moments. I mean, you think about the tough first round, getting knocked down, eating some serious combinations at the end. Just recovering, establishing himself back in the fight, maybe wearing out Vasquez a little bit. There goes El Lopo trying to bounce back to the feet. Yeah, did a good job. Got his legs inside, kicked away. And again, that's just because Miranda was in top position but wasn't really doing anything to advance it. Vasquez got back to his feet, couldn't quite get away though. Beautiful knees right there. Now Miranda going back in on the takedown, and he gets it. Yeah, landed a nice right hand in there and another big takedown. And as we said, you know, we talked about it in between rounds. It would be wise for Miranda to oh. turn to these takedowns. He's doing it. Miranda maybe again trying to go for that arm triangle position. You saw Vasquez threw that right hand over. Miranda snuck the dome right in. Yeah, I mean, I think he's going to have to be quick on that. You just look at the power in the arms of Vasquez. I don't think you're going to be able to force him into the arm triangle. But if you can catch it with some technique, you might be able to do that. Or if you can sneak around to the back here, oh. you can see he's trying to slide around. 25 seconds left in round two. Tommy Santana briefly engages. Miranda locks up. Off to the side here, but he's going to put a squeeze on. He's on the chin. He's at a really tough angle here. You can see wow. Vasquez just kind of turns in. Don't blame him for trying to put a squeeze on there, but didn't really have the angle on it more uncomfortable than anything else. Round number two closes with El Lobo on top, but a great bounce back five minutes for Juan Carlos Miranda. Yeah, I think so as well. I mean, we said it, I think the takedown is going to be his key to success. I don't think he wants to have these stand-up and changes. He did exactly that. I think he evened it up on the scorecards. Talking about round number three, El Lobo. All right, before we do that, take us through the highlights here, John Morgan. Yeah, you see, I mean, this was that moment where he tried to spin in the back, but Miranda did a good job of adjusting Vasquez sprawled well. I mean, it really was kind of high-level sequences happening here. Miranda on the feet. There was a high kick that he threw out there as well. But, you know, it was just kind of second efforts of these takedowns that were able to really pay dividends for him and establish top position. There's that big right hand on the chin of El Lopo. Gave Miranda the moment to duck under. Beautiful takedown there. Fun fight so far through two. We've been saying it all night that it was going to be a fun one. It is through ten minutes, that's for sure. We talk about cardio, El Lobo. Sort of hunched over. Neither guy taking too many deep breaths. I'd say that the flyweights, they could probably go all 25. That's it. That's the great thing about flyweights, right? They can fight all night long. They are showing that so far. El Lobo, Ronald Vasquez, and Juan Carlos Cheeky Miranda have arrived at the third round. Tommy Santana gets us going in this inaugural flyweight title fight. Fun back and forth thus far. Let's see if you can take charge here in round three. Oh, once again, the head kick. Glances over the top. Of course, he laughs because that's what he does. <laughs> and again, goes back to it. But El Lobo, opportunity to close the distance there. Nice oh. right hand. Beautiful combination. Oh. This is what Vasquez wants. I think he stunned him a little bit there. Miranda shooting in. Cheeky eating some serious shots in the pocket. El Lobo teeing off. Yeah, big right hand landed over the top. And Miranda doing a good job of kind of controlling the, the wrist right now and the arms to slow things down a little bit against the fence because he took some damage there early. 30 seconds in, Juan Carlos Miranda once again displaying the chin that he's got. El Lobo in this over-under clinching position. Big knees up the middle. Patented move from El Chiqui Miranda. You gotta be careful, he's awfully close to the cup there, but yeah, as demonic as Juan Carlos Miranda is. <laughs> yeah, still can't need a groin. Yeah. <laughs> El Lobo really trying to work for some grappling success here. Yeah, nice left hand there, but again, the knees coming back to Miranda. You know, we talked about the success on the feet. You'd think maybe breaking off and throwing a combo could potentially be a, a, a solid move for El Lobo. Absolutely could. Uh, I think he feels good in his position right now, and he's kind of putting his weight on him. But disengaging Ooh. would be a good idea, and it looks like El Lobo clawing the cage. Tommy Santana, why do it? Yeah, and he says, look, well, how about the times he hit my groin there as well? <laughs> you saw the cage grab. You didn't see the knees? We'll see. Oh, that head kick landed. Yes, it did. And Vasquez just walked right through it. Oh, the uppercut, the left hook, the right behind it. Nice combination there from Vasquez. Beautiful work by both gentlemen. Two minutes into round number three. El Lopo just having a lot more success overall. Now he breaks off. Big shot by Cheeky. Love that lunging jab. I mean, it's really covering space effectively 
Miranda busted open a little bit, John. Yeah, he's really finding success with that. Ooh. Nice combination there, the right hand behind it. You can see Vasquez just kind of walking through it. I mean, the shots are definitely adding up, Ooh. but the power is coming from Vasquez. There's no question about it. So Miranda has to be careful. Love the display of delayed timing and switching it right to jab and then going with that single cross. It snuck through every time. Boom, once again, a jab from Miranda. But El Chiqui might be tiring a little bit, some labored shots from him. Well, the hands are low again. He's showing nice head movement, but you got to be careful. That right hand. Oh! Another right hand. El Lopo teeing off on the chin of Miranda. Here comes Vasquez. Oh, my goodness. Big combination. He's teeing off. El Several Chiqui. of those landed clean. El Chiqui trying to hang on. Two minutes left in round number three. Yeah, Vasquez really starting to take over in these exchanges, and now I think he really does want to get out. You see the damage on Miranda's face, blood streaming down now. Oh! oh right hand earned him. Cheeky Upper stunned! Top. Miranda's in trouble here. This might be over soon. He's trying to move forward and get hold, but I think he's out. Yeah, throw Cheeky down Miranda. to the ground. Vasquez is going to look to finish this with strikes. Here comes El Lopo pounding away. Oh, hooks are the in. Potential the rear naked choke oh. here. Oh! Squeeze is in. That's He's arching deep. the back. I think we're just a matter of time here. Vasquez looking to get this finish. You see the Cheeky's grimace hanging there. on. That's, That's it. it. El Lopo. Lopo steals the soul of Juan Carlos Miranda and new Ronald Vasquez. What a performance. We talked about heavy hits when he knew where to throw those combinations. He made it count. Juan Carlos Miranda, fun fighter, was in it, but defensively, Ate too many shots, John. Yeah, it just as he started to fatigue a little bit, unfortunately, the hands dropped, and you can see it. It's like, uh-oh, this is not going to work. And you're trying to rely on that head movement, which is a dangerous game to play. You see it here. That's when you know, that one right hand landed, stunned, and you can see him at this point. Miranda was kind of out on his feet, I think, just fighting on instinct. And eventually goes to the ground, choke is in, and uh, that was it. Out wow. cold. Juan Carlos Miranda rendered unconscious in round number three, courtesy of El Lopo, Ronald Vasquez. When we talked about the storyline coming into this, Vasquez searching for that statement performance, that one win that shows everybody, hey, I wasn't just a good amateur, I'm also a good pro. Taking out Cheeky in that manner, I say does that. Unquestionably. I mean, that was a great performance. You know, he had a dream start, as we said, unbelievable start. And then he's tested a little bit, right? Miranda shows his toughness and battles back and, and takes the second round. And then you say, well, okay, you know, what's going to happen next? How is this going to happen? And, yeah, El Lobo came out and put a stamp on it in round number three. Started landing big shots. And uh, he is your new flyweight champion. Juan Carlos Miranda up to his feet now sitting down. Conscious, probably catching up on what's occurred. But good to see that he's awake, cognizant, and, and well aware. But El Lobo going through the array of emotions that one can experience becoming a champion in Colombia. Inaugural title holder, man. That's history. You can't take that away. Phenomenal performance. As you said, good to see Cheeky back up on his lawn chair. It's always, always good to see when that happens. Seven career finishes for Ronald Vasquez now. He is as dangerous as they come. His reign in Empire Mixed Martial Arts is surely going to be one to watch. I'm excited to see. Maybe these guys rematch at some point in time. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see if they're past due cross again. Perhaps they will. I mean, I don't think there's anybody that watches that wouldn't sign up to see it again. It was a fun fight there. and Smile still in place. Frustrated, of course. He put on a heck of a show, though. Great, great performance, but one, came up short against that man. One of the unsung heroes in Latin American mixed martial arts, Juan Carlos Miranda, the petroleum engineer, always comes to play and leaves memorable performances. He will be back. Tommy Santana inside the octagon to make this title finish official. Señoras y señores, combate estelar y el ganador es Ronald Vasquez. And new. Leaving Bogota with some hardware. Es el he missed weight, and I totally forgot oh, about that. Oh. So he can't win the title. Oh, so frustrating. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot that as well. It was such a long wow. night of such great fights. We were so One excited about detail, it. One minor detail. He's not your champion. Wow. Okay. So but a hell of a win.
hell of a win. And again, small correction to the broadcast. Uh, uh, a major correction. <laughs> <laughs> um, due to coming in over, I believe he weighed in at 128. This is 125 pounds yep. in title fights. You got to show up on the dot, despite the performance that Ronald El Lobo Vasquez put inside the octagon. This title's still vacant, John. Maybe they do it again, and he tries to make weight. Wow, I totally forgot about that. Me too. That sucks, dude. That is, man. We apologize to everyone. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You know, in, in fairness with the graphics being in Spanish and in uh, the metric yeah. system as well, that we have absolutely <laughs> yeah. no understanding of <laughs> Dude, whatsoever. I'm operating in a world outside my depth, John Morgan. <laughs> Are we, uh, broadcast is Serato. Um, or not, wait. Long <laughs> fight card down here in Bogota, Colombia. El Lobo, Ronald Vasquez, and Juan Carlos Tiki Miranda leave it all inside the octagon. What a fun affair. I've been Ben the Bain Davis. John Morgan, it's been an honor and a pleasure to call this alongside you. Absolute fun. A lot, of, a lot of fun fights from start to finish. A lot of young talent here in Colombia, and I look forward to future editions of Empire MMA. Make sure you tune in June 9th and June 10th for Empire MMA 5 and Empire Pro Grappling live from Medellin, Colombia.